fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. A good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Forecaster Angie Stevenson. We'll look at your forecast. Well, happy first day of summer, everyone. Today, summer, the summer solstice officially arrived at 10.58 a.m. this morning. Today will be the longest day of the year, clocking in at 15 minutes, or 15 hours, 15 minutes, and 13 seconds. That's about six hours more of daylight that we would have at the winter solstice. And unfortunately, starting tomorrow, we're going to start to lose daylight up until the winter solstice in December. And summer will run until September, September 23rd, which will be the autumn equinox. Well, let's take a trip down to the tropics for your tropical update. We're still keeping track of Tropical Storm Brett, which continues to churn down in the southern Atlantic, and this is still forecasted to become a hurricane probably by tomorrow or Friday, and right now it has, it's moving west at 14 miles per hour, so it's not really moving that fast, and maximum winds right now are about 60 miles per hour, and again, this is forecasted to become a hurricane either tomorrow or Friday. So areas in the islands down in the southern Atlantic will have to keep an eye on this and keep tuned to forecasts as this continues to strengthen over the next few days. Back here across our region, high pressure continues to maintain control of our water, but the slow pressure system is slowly inching its way northward and eventually that high pressure system will start to lose its strength and that's going to bring this rain and some thunderstorms back into the region tomorrow, but more so Friday and into Saturday. So let's time it out on future scan for the rest of the afternoon out there. Partly cloudy skies, maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm possible, but those shower should come to an end overnight tonight and we'll go partly cloudy skies through the night tonight and heading into the into the day tomorrow partly cloudy skies but there will be better chances for a few showers tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night and as that system continues to move northward we'll get into the better chances for those those rain showers and even a few thunderstorms heading into Friday speaking of rain the weather prediction center has issued a day three excessive rainfall outlook for the entire region and there's a marginal no risk to see some flash flooding. What that means is there's about 5% chance that rainfall will exceed flash flood guidance within 25 miles of any location on Friday. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as well on, on Friday. Tonight, the Jamestown Tarp Skunks are back home. They have a double header tonight. This is a makeup of a game that got rained out a few weeks ago. Should be a decent even for baseball out there. Game one at 430, partly sunny skies, temperatures near 80. Game two comes around around 7, 730. Again, still dry, maybe an isolated shower with highs in the mid 70s around the start of game two. And now that extended forecast powered by Ultimate Satellite Solutions. Highs today near 80, drop to the about mid 70s tomorrow. Some clouds and rain showers will hold those temperatures down a little bit more. We'll be in the upper 70s, close to 80 Friday through the weekend with again rain Friday and Saturday. We'll be dry on Sunday before a few more rain showers return to the region by early next week.